Data from King County shows that the black population is the least vaccinated in King County. In fact, it says that demographic isn't going to reach that 70% threshold until September. That goes to show that there is work to be done and there are groups willing to do that work. In fact, across from the Tuckwilla Light Rail Station here on Juneteenth, there's going to be a barbecue, there's going to be music, there's also going to be a vaccine pop-up clinic. It is so energizing and empowering and really a celebration of our blackness and our place here. For Zaina Bakari, the excitement surrounding Juneteenth made way for opportunity. When you're talking about black, black lives mattering, then black health matters too. Saturday, the Juneteenth holiday, people will march down Pack Highway in Tukwila in support of black fathers. At the end, a pop-up vaccine clinic organized with the Urban League of Metropolitan Seattle. And if they can come to a pop-up clinic, have a great experience, meet black health providers, then they might think, oh, you know what, I'm going to schedule a checkup. Juneteenth celebrates the end of slavery, and while that date dates back to more than a century ago, there are many still learning about the holiday. I am someone who only learned about Ju Juneteenth recently. And I am not alone in this. Juneteenth is one of the many intentionally omitted days of American history. Until today, the holiday is now by law recognized across America. Reverend Leslie Braxton calls this a step forward. If we're going to be that more perfect union, we have to be honest about our imperfections. Now the caution is a symbol without the substance means nothing. For Zaina, pushing for racial justice and honoring Juneteenth means helping her community stay healthy. We need to sustain ourselves if we're going to sustain a movement. Health is kind of the start of that. And while Reverend Braxton says honoring the holiday on a federal level is symbolic, he says there are other things federal and state governments can do to ensure systemic change. As for the pop-up clinic, it's going to be happening across from the Tukwila Light Rail Station Saturday at 1 p.m. They have 500 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. In Tukwila, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.